Hello everyone, welcome to Horror Mystery Rewind. In today's video, we will be going through the 2019 horror sci-fi film Brightburn. Turn on subtitles. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy and take care. The movie opens with Tari and Kyle Brea trying to conceive a child. It doesn't seem to be successful, but there are some books on the shelf that suggest they are working on this. During the final attempt, Tari felt the vibration of something collapsing outside. First, she wipes it off, but then a big shake turns the lights off. Looking out the window, she sees something falling outside. It then flashes a video of baby Brandon growing up. After watching some of these clips, Tari plays hide-and-seek with a slightly more mature version of Brandon. Later, Brandon answers questions from teachers at school. This catches the attention of a young classmate named Caitlin. Back at the farm that night, while Tari is painting, Brandon sleepwalks into the basement to find a meteor in which he has supposedly reached Earth. He screams angrily when he tries to approach it. Tori calms him down. The next morning, Brandon gets to work mowing the lawn. Frustrated trying to start the mower, he flies it a few hundred yards. He walks over to see the blade spinning. Curious, he stuck his hand in and stopped coldly, but it didn't hurt. The family then stops at a diner with Tari, Kai, his aunt Merrily, and Uncle No. Kai scolds No when he tries to give him a toy gun. However, Brandon asks for a gun. So, the family leaves in the middle of their celebration while the waitress watches them leave. The next morning, Brandon hasn't even heard from Kai. He noticed that Brandon was chewing on the fork without damaging his teeth. Kai takes Brandon on a hunt, shows him the gun, and explains how his body changed after Tari found some lingering ads under his bed. Brandon sneaks up on Caitlin while listening to a slow rock song. She notices music playing from her laptop and closes it. But she's nervous that he's watching her from a nearby window. Suddenly, her mother, the former waitress, bursts in and asks what's going on. She nervously starts breathing. Back at the farm, No and Tari search for Brandon. And they found him. The next day at school, Tari talks to Brandon's teacher and draws mysterious drawings in her notebook. When Tari asks about them, he closes it and walks away. Back at the farm, Kyle finds Brandon scaring the chickens. He asks if he's okay and he admits it. The two enter. Tori and Kyle then go outside to see that all the chickens have been killed. Tori thinks it's a wolf, but Kyle thinks it's Brandon, pointing out that Brandon was there. The next day, Brandon and his classmates attend a trust fall exercise at school to do. Caitlin is nervous about what happened the other day, but he doesn't say anything. However, he fell to the ground as his classmates failed to catch him. He is fine, but Caitlin states that she won't help him because he's a pervert. Brandon says she's lying. Her trainer forces her to help him. But he takes her hand and suddenly breaks it and screams at her. Then he's in the office and Tari says sorry to Caitlin's mom and that accidents happen. However, the mother is not so sure. She urges the sheriff to arrest him, but he refuses. He is at school in a special session instead. Meanwhile, Brandon sits here sadly as they continue to argue. His mother claims a psychopath gave birth to him, but Tari defends him. The family leaves, but not before Brandon gives her a menacing look. Later that night, he overhears Kyle and Tari talking about him. Later, Tari finds out about the meteor, but realizes something is happening in the barn. Brandon witnesses something glowing, possibly from a meteor. She rushes to check on him, only to find him floating in the barn. He keeps singing Take the World. As she approaches, he fell and cut his hand on a piece of meteor. She goes downstairs to recover and tells him he's back downstairs. He is taken aback and he explains that he is from some other place and yells that she is lying and runs away. She goes and tells Kyle what he discovered with the meteor. Angry as he walks along, Brandon screams and fires lasers from his eyes. Later, he visits Caitlin in her bedroom as she types with her one hand on her laptop. He tells her not to be scared and that she knows just how special he is. She says her mother said not to talk to him, but he says he is going to take care of that. She cries as he suddenly departs, leaving a flower behind for her. Meanwhile, at the diner, her mother is just closing the shop, but she notices something is off. She walks out and suddenly sees diagrams on the windows, like that of what Brandon drew in his book. The lights start flickering. Suddenly the windowpane shatters and the mother removes the piece of glass from her eye. She looks around and sees nothing, but she knows someone is out there. 
She grabs a baseball bat and only sees a shadowy figure speeding past her and she starts swinging the baseball bat. She hits something, then she retreats to the back cooler and locks the door. She runs to safety, but Brandon burns out the door with laser vision. He ripped open the door and glared at her before attacking and possibly killing her. The next morning, Brandon meets his parents and tells them that everything is fine as explained. Back at the diner, the sheriff and his deputies investigate what happened, including the remains of her body. The sheriff found one of the drawings in the window as painted by Brandon. Merrily, who is also a counselor, tries to talk to Brandon, but he is hopeless when it comes to explaining what is going on. Consider speaking. Later, at a bar, Kyle begins to think his son is a monster as he talks with his friends about what happened to Caitlin's hands. Back at home, Merrily is doing something in the bathroom with the lights rapidly turning on and off. Brandon later shows up at Merrily and he says he needs to talk to her. He tells him not to talk to the police as it's not good for anyone. She told him to go home and she thought he left. But later he stands in front of her window and sees her texting no. He returns home in his costume, but no returns and finds him in the closet. He escorts him away and threatens to tell his parents. They begin loading into No's truck and when he tries to push Brandon, they are thrown through the garage door. He gets up and gets into the truck, scared but confident that Brandon is after him. Suddenly the truck goes out of control and loses power. He attempts to restart it, but Brandon appears in front of him as he screams. He lifts the truck off the ground, levitating it in the air and then suddenly throws it to crash down. No breaks his jaw in the process as Brandon goes over to him. As he lays there dying, Brandon draws out another one of his symbols in the ground in his blood. Brandon returns home, saying he was playing soccer the whole time. He explains how he was bullied, and that's how he lost his shirt. That night, Kyle has a nightmare that shows him how Terry first found the baby in the meteor and chooses to adopt him. However, it startles him when his eyes suddenly light up with lasers. The phone awakens him, and Kyle and Terry are called to the hospital, where Mary Lee is. She explains No was killed, and they comfort her. She explains that Brandon came to visit beforehand, which concerns Kyle. The next morning, they bring Brandon the news about No, but he says, okay. Kyle now wonders what this all is about, and accuses Brandon of being there. I try to calm him down, but he only gets angry. Suddenly, Brandon pushes him into the pantry, breaking down the door in the process. Tori sends him away. Kyle then finds Brandon's shirt and notices it has a bit of blood on it but manages to take it away without letting him know. He apologizes for earlier, but Brandon just says, okay, again. Later, Kyle explains to Tari what he found out, but she refuses to accept what he says. Meanwhile, the sheriff takes a close look at the accident and notices similarities with the diagram from the window and what was drawn on the ground. Kyle looks at Brandon's old birthday card and tries to comfort Tari that night. The next day, he decides to take Brandon on a hunting trip. On the way, the sheriff visits Terry and explains what he found in the photograph. She says he will be back, though she doesn't admit it. In the woods, Brandon and Kyle follow the tracks of a deer, and Kyle let him lead. Returning to the house, Terry finds Brandon's notebook, showing the same drawing of the window and street, plus other drawings such as his clothes, the waitress's eyeglass, and several dead bodies along with the words Take the World. Notice. She panics. Back in the woods, Brandon investigates the truck while Kyle attempts to shoot him. The bullet is fired but bounces off Brandon's head. When Kyle tries to reload, Brandon looks surprised. But as soon as he does so, Brandon disappears. Kyle panics, but again a hooded Brandon flies around and appears around him. Eventually he attacks him and forces him to sit. Kyle tries to apologize, but Brandon suddenly fires laser eyes and shoots through his skull, killing him. At home, Tari desperately tries to call Kyle, but is not able to succeed. Brandon finally answers and Tari asks where Kyle is. Brandon explains that Kyle is dead, and he is coming home. He hangs up and flies around the house at high speed, destroying it in the process. She calls 911 as he keeps flying around her. After the 911 call is disconnected, the sheriff and his deputy are summoned. They show up to see the house destroyed by Brandon's destruction. Tori starts out of the house as the sheriff calls her. However, before she could speak to him, Brandon grabbed him and tore him to pieces. In a hurry, Tari and the deputy went inside the house. Tori hides upstairs and while the lieutenant pulls up her gun and searches for Brandon. She asks for backup. 
She walks around the house and sees Brandon appear in front of her and suddenly behind her. The sound of her being ripped apart by him is heard by Terry. She continues to be quiet as Brandon looks around for her. She walks out the window and falls to the ground. Tori heads to the barn where the meteor is. She remembers earlier where Brandon was injured in his fall and rips off a piece from the meteor. When she hides the debris and calls for Brandon, she finds the waitress body. He shows up wearing a hood and she explains that he means everything to her. She wants to take off his hood and he looks at her innocently. The two embrace and she prepares to stab Brandon with the piece, but he grabs her hand and pushes the meteor piece out. Enraged, he flies her hundreds of feet into the air. He gives her one last look at her, hugs her, and leaves her to her death. As he hovers in the air, an oncoming plane comes toward him. The next day, debris from the plane falls to the ground and there are no survivors of the crash. It's reported that the plane crashed into the farmhouse, with Kyle and Terry inside. Brandon sits down and eats a cookie with an innocent look on his face. In the credits, we see cities devastated and millions dying at Brandon's hands. If you like the video subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and click on like to help the channel out. Thank you and take care.